Hey guys, it's Andre from BMW Auto House and I have with me here today the all new 2022 BMW i4 M50. It really looks like the brand new 4 Series Grand Coupe and that's because it is a 4 Series Grand Coupe but 100% electric. There is no gas components whatsoever in this vehicle. So what we have with us today is uh, Brooklyn Gray. It's got black interior. Let's check out the trunk space in here. Lots of room. Wow, that's nice. We got kick to close, kick to open. And like I said, I have not driven this vehicle. I have personally not even sat inside of it. Uh, so I'm very excited to have this vehicle with me today. I'm gonna test drive it. I'm gonna play with some buttons, play with some features and give you my honest opinion about this car. It looks great. Like I, I'm kind of speechless from, from the design aspects of it. I love these new taillights. I love the new rear diffuser here. It, even though it doesn't have an exhaust, it looks like it kind of has an exhaust. Um, it, it's really fitting with the modern cars that are on the road today and if you ask somebody they would not think that this is electric. Uh, the direct competitor for this is the Tesla Model 3 which aesthetically looks similar body wise but I'll show you guys why it's completely different from that. So I've got a plate with me here. I'd like to thank BMW Auto House again for giving us this car today so that we can give you a full unbiased opinion of it and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I really like these new door handles. That's a new design for, well I can't say it's new. BMW has, has had it in the past but it's new for the last 10 years. Um, all the other vehicles that BMW has made have had those handles that you kind of grab like, like this in your hand. Uh, this one is now from underneath. I think it looks a lot more sleek. Look how nice and aerodynamic it makes the vehicle. But hey, that's just my opinion. Um, another really cool thing that I personally really love about this car is the frameless door. Uh, the 4 Series Grand Coupe is known for this. It has the really cool frameless doors here, not only on the front, but also on the back. Look at that, that is really nice. So what do we have on the inside here? We've got a black for NASCAR perforated seats. It's got heated seats, which of course you can't live without here in Canada. Uh, but what's really nice about this is the blue contrast stitching. Uh, this to me just emphasizes the eye vision that BMW has for their electric vehicles where a lot of things are uh, have blue accents in them. So again, this is my first time sitting in this car. And wow, it is nice. Sorry for my sniffling a little bit. It's really chilly outside. It's like minus 17 and I'm not wearing a jacket. And since it's so cold outside, I'm just going to quickly put the heated seats on for myself. Yep, very high, thank you. Wow, this is really nice. So again, going back to the blue stitching and the blue accents, you can see it all over the car. It's not too much, but it's not too little. Just enough to remind you that this is an eye car. Let's start her up. Wow, that's a pretty cool intro to starting the engine. I like that. When it's a drive, somebody doesn't have their seatbelt on. And how do I know that? It tells me right here, that is so cool. There's a little green indication to tell me that the person in the back has their seatbelt on and the other person does not. Let's see if it's gonna switch when they put their seatbelt on. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Forget about asking the kids, you guys buckled back there? No, just look right there and it'll tell you. That's nice. All right, let's take this thing for a drive. I've got my mirror set up. Wow, the screen is really cool. Um, it's, it's not too big, it's not too small. Uh, the orientation of it is facing the driver, which just makes it feel like you're like in like a fighter cockpit. This is really nice. Wow, super comfortable. I was not expecting that. Um, the ramp that we have here at BMW Auto House, I hate to say it, uh, it's part of the city property, so we can't really do too much about it, but it is really tall, and every time I've driven a car off of it, it felt like, it, you can just feel that you're driving off a curb. Um, 
the i4 that I'm driving right now felt like I was riding on air. And uh, it is riding on air a little bit. The rear suspension is actually air suspension and it makes the ride comfort really nice. Oh, that's cool. Wow, this is electric mode? This is E mode? Wow, I'm in Eco Pro mode? Holy smoke, I thought this was just regular comfort mode. Wow, this is really smooth. If anyone has driven the Tesla Model 3 and then you drive this car, you will absolutely feel the difference. Um, just everything about this car just feels more premium and uh, it's more refined. Now I know that the Teslas have the one pedal drive system and this model right now that I'm driving, uh, believe it or not, can switch between one pedal drive or two pedal drive. And what the two pedal drive is, is just like your regular car that you're driving now, you push the gas to accelerate, you push the brake to slow down and come to a stop. Uh, the one drive pedal mode allows you to drive the vehicle with literally just one pedal, and that pedal is the gas pedal. So you push on the gas to accelerate, and you let go of the pedal to slow down, even come to a full stop. And BMW gave you the option to choose either or, and that is really cool. All right, so we've been driving in Eco Pro mode for just a couple minutes now, uh, and it feels a little bit kind of boring to me, so I'm just gonna quickly go into the comfort mode. I just wanna feel, wow, instantly. Instantly I felt the change in power and acceleration. It's not like I'm digging into the gas to get a lot of power. Um, my foot was just planted on the pedal just enough that I can accelerate, but when I clicked into comfort, I instantly felt the, the acceleration without moving my foot from the pedal from where it was placed in eco pro mode so that's pretty nice i'm gonna go into sport mode real quick oh is there sound whoa can you guys hear that whoa that's cool that's really nice all right so it looks like when i clicked sport mode i've got a cup whoa there's a sport boost Okay, this car is just, this is just amazing me more and more. I was happy with the Eco Pro. It made me smile in comfort. It made me really grin and smile in sport. But now there's a sport boost. Oh my gosh, what is this? I got sport boost here. All right, we're gonna do a quick acceleration just to see what it feels like from zero. Do you guys want me to take this off? I hate this, I'm gonna take it off. I don't know about you, but that is extremely satisfying for me. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this one on the screen just because, you know, we're gonna give the customer who buys this the experience to peel that because, I don't know, I like it. I'm sure some of y'all will like it. So we'll leave it for the customer to, to enjoy. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, that is awesome. Wow, guys, if you could see the smile on my face right now, holy smoke. The sound just makes the drive feel more exciting. Um, if you haven't driven an electric vehicle, um, go out and drive one, and then come and drive this car and tell me the difference. It's gonna blow you away. Most electric vehicles that you drive just kind of feel boring. There's no sound. Sure, the acceleration feels nice from zero to 60 or, or 100, um, but it kind of dies off there. The, the excitement of driving just kind of dies and you're just kind of floating on the road at a certain speed. And now with the self-driving cars, you're not even driving the car. There's no fun in that whatsoever. The BMW makes it fun. I got to tell you right off the bat, the Sport Boost um, makes the acceleration very powerful and it makes the sound feel like I'm driving a gas-powered vehicle, which I think is missing from a lot of these new electric driving vehicles. Uh, so I'm gonna do it again just because it felt really cool. <laughs> uh, they do not have launch control, but you don't need it because it's instant power, instant torque. Oh yeah. I felt just a little bit the tires slipping just ever so slightly, but it did not overspin in a sense that I was losing traction and would lose speed and torque. This is a very 
very well executed piece of machine here. When BMW says it's the ultimate driving machine, they are not lying whatsoever. This is the ultimate driving machine. BMW just takes it to another level with their electric models. Um, this, this car that I'm driving here currently uh, makes 536 horsepower with about 580 pounds-feet of torque. That is extraordinary. So that's why it feels like right off the line, it's just instant power, instant torque, and that wheel spin that I was talking about, hey, look, there's a, there's a Tesla, buy Tesla. Uh, that wheel spin that I was talking about didn't happen like, um, how can I say? Uh, if you've driven a very powerful vehicle, when you punch the gas off the line, you are gonna spin your tires. You're gonna, you're gonna lose traction, you're gonna break that traction, and you're gonna over, over spin your tires. This car has so much torque, it barely slipped at all. And if it did slip, it felt like it just caught it right away. It spectacular. I'm trying to think of words to explain the feeling that it gave me and I just, I can't. It's, you have to come and drive this car for yourself. Back into comfort mode and just, oh, I like how everything changes. That's really nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, I just pulled over real quick. Just playing with some functions here. Uh, the screen is really, I can't get over how nice the interior is on this car. Very well put together. Hey, BMW. Go to 480 Steels Avenue West, Thornhill. Okay, I've selected 480 Steels Avenue West, Vaughan, Ontario. Should I start the guidance? Yes. Destination is 480 Steels Avenue West, Vaughan, Ontario. So, that's our address. If you want to come test drive this vehicle, you know where to find it. And I left the dealership with about 97, 96% battery. And I've just been gunning it on the way here and driving a little bit kind of fast just because I want to get a real feeling of this car in every mode. And we're at 93%. I'm pretty sure that this car can do its uh, 500 kilometer range that it's, that it's claiming to do. Back into Sport Boost. We're, all, we're on a little windy road here, so you get to feel how the suspension feels. Now, we're not driving anything crazy. This is personally how I would drive sometimes. Uh, and the car feels very planted to the ground, very glued to the floor, and it's, it's really nice. Hmm. Oh, there's the braking, yeah. So, um, I just went into the settings while I was pulled over there just to change the braking regeneration. I just bumped it up a little bit. That's what these three lines represent. So I'm in the highest brake regeneration mode. So when I let go of the gas, the car is slowing down quite, wow, quite a lot. That is really cool. And it even comes to, uh, comes to a full stop. So this is the one drive pedal, which is super nice, super convenient. Once you start driving it for about a week, you almost even forget you have a brake pedal. And you gotta be careful because when you jump into another car, that doesn't have this one drive pedal system, it's gonna feel a little bit different. It's so quiet. You know, for a car that you don't hear any um, engine noises, the outside noises are very limited. I think that's because they're using some type of um, uh, sound deadening glass. I think it's called like sound glazing. That's what BMW calls it. Very cool wording, but it really makes a difference in the in the sound acoustics in the vehicle. Loving this one pedal braking. It's really cool. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. When I let go of the gas, it's showing me how much brake is being used from the brake regeneration. Wow, very cool visuals. Like I was talking outside, uh, this is essentially a 4 Series Grand Coupe. But what's really different is the drive and the feeling that the car gives you while driving it. It's like no other. If you really want the true experience, come to BMW Auto House and test drive the... Bleh. Come to BMW Auto House and test drive the new BMW i4 and the iX and find which one is best suited for your lifestyle. Wow, this is, I mean, I'm sorry. No gas powered car can give you that feeling of just instant acceleration and just overtake somebody. That's really cool.